How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and let's say you actually did this. You removed, you have deleted the image playground application on your iPhone. Maybe on purpose because you don't want it at the time and you want to download later, maybe accidentally, but now you just can't get it anymore. You have removed it and you just can't download it. It's not on the App Store, you can't find it. So in this video, I'm actually gonna teach you how to fix that and how you can get the Image Playground app even if you have deleted it. Let me show you. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is open up your settings and then scroll down, go to Apple Intelligence and Siri and make sure Apple Intelligence is enabled. It's on, working and fully functional. Even if you don't have the app, you have to make sure Apple Intelligence is enabled in order to be able to download it, all right? After that, make sure to come back here, go to General, and then go ahead here, scroll down, go to Language and Region, and then make sure your iPhone is just like mine. Set to English as the preferred language, and as the region, United States. So United States and English, and then, we're pretty much good to go, but there's one extra step because still, even after doing that, if you open up the app store and go to search and you search for image playground and tap on it, you just won't find the app. It's nowhere to be found. Okay, so that's not it yet. And even if you go ahead, open up Safari and look for the app in Safari to get the direct link. So you can go for image, playground as you can see right here and we'll get a direct link from the app store and if you tap on it still it won't work it'll say app not available right so there's this final step which i'm gonna show you right now so in order to be able to get image playground your apple id your apple account linked to your app store this one right here as you can see needs to be set as united states so not only your iPhone, as I showed you before, but the Apple ID, the Apple account region has to be set to the US. Otherwise, you won't be able to get or install the application. So what you're gonna need to do is either use an American Apple ID if you already have it. I do, I have it. But if you don't, you're gonna need to create a new one. And the easiest way to do it is just open up Safari and then go to this website, which is of course from Apple. It's appleid.apple.com, as you can see right here. So manage your Apple account, as you can see. And then right here, one account for everything. It's the Apple account official website. And then you're gonna go ahead here, tap on this little arrow pointing down, as you can see, and then create your Apple account. Of course, it's completely free and official. You go ahead here and fill it out. Of course, your country and region needs to be the United States, okay? So go ahead and create your Apple account. Oh, and please keep in mind that you don't need a credit card. You don't need a form of payment in order to create your Apple account look it up and then after you're done all you have to do is come back to the app store tap here at the top right hand corner naturally this apple account here is an american we need to sign in with the new american apple account right so we need to sign out first so scroll all the way down keep scrolling all the way down until we see sign out tap here you're gonna sign out just as easy as that and then your app store your application won't be linked with any apple account so now we can sign in with our new one that we have just created the american one uh it's probably gonna pick up the apple account that's already linked to your iphone but you don't want that you want the new one right so you can say not your name no problem and then you're gonna manually sign in to the new one to the american apple account you can tap on continue or scroll down here to continue as you can see password and then scroll down once again continue once again and continue for the third time and then as you can see it's gonna sign in has signed in to my other apple account as you can see this one is american so as i tap on done and as I simply go here to my search, as soon as it loads, as you can see, and I go for search and I look for image playground. So play, yep, 
image, yeah, Apple Image Playground, you can already see that the results are different, right? And then right here we have Image Playground. And of course, all you have to do is tap on the cloud with the arrow pointing down, and then it's gonna load and open, and then we're good to go. We have Image Playground. Of course, it's gonna download everything for the very first time because we are re-downloading it. We have the app right here. We're good to go. Oh, and one final thing, after you have downloaded Image Playground, you can come back to the App Store and then come back here to your Apple account and then sign out of this Apple account, this new one you have created, and sign back in to your typical Apple account that you already use, okay? If you sign out, you won't lose uh, Image Playground or anything like that, okay? No problem at all. After you have downloaded it, it'll be there on your iPhone and you don't need to have this new Apple account forever. No, 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 you can replace and get back to your old, typical Apple account that you always used, okay? so. That's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video as usual, guys. Bye-bye.